Hey guys, it's DMike here for a new series. This is a brand new idea that I came up with. And this is gonna be called Super Nintendo Sundays where I'm gonna be playing through various Super Nintendo games throughout the course of however long I decide to do it. And for this first series, I decided to choose Donkey Kong Country for the Super Nintendo. It's one of my favorites as a kid and I wouldn't have it any other way besides playing this game alongside a very close friend of mine who I've known for a long time and his name is. Uh, hello folks, I'm Odin Spack. Uh, thank you, D-Mike, for bringing me in for this uh, this new series of yours. I'm, I'm pretty pumped. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty it's gonna pumped. be a good time. We've uh, we've been talking about this for a long time. We've been friends for a long time, so this has been a long time in the making. And uh, we're gonna have some fun playing through some Donkey Kong Country, re uh, relive some childhood uh, memories. How about that? So let's get started. Yeah, we'll just get going. Well, you know, it's two players, so why don't we go with file two? Sounds good to me. And we're not doing the contest. We're a team. The Kong so. test. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I guess I'm DK. I just realized I guess I'm in control. So I guess I'm DK. Yeah. So Odin is going to be playing as Donkey Kong. I will be Diddy. We're going to be trying to take turns as we play back and forth. We'll do our best to make it an equitable run through. We'll see how that goes, depending upon. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see how many things we can find too. Right. So this is not maybe this is not going to be a pro play speed run style of 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 let's play. This is going to be more of just kind of real cash, real fun. Oh, I'm a big fan of the cash mode. So real cash. Yeah, I'm I'm down. I'm down with that. <laughs> We're down to clown with cash mode. You know it's. <laughs> It's kind of funny, like, you're saying, like, oh, yeah, you know, we, we've known each other for a long time, but we haven't really talked in a long time, though. True. This is just kind of like, hey, how's it going? Remember me? Hey, let's do a thing. <laughs> yeah, so, um, Odin and I have, quote, unquote, known each other. We've never actually physically met in person. We're online buddies for now, but, uh, we've known each other for about 10 or so years now, but, uh, you know, when you go from having fun with all the free time in the world when you're younger to being... A little older as an adult you kind of life gets in the way a little bit so it's good to be able to reconnect and stay close with your pals all right i i gotta be honest this might this must be a dkc2 thing i really thought it switched players between levels yeah i wasn't sure and that's why i said like if that's the case then we just try to swap when we can and i think i think that's a later game thing well, back and I, I'm, I'm pretty sure if you like, if you like fall in a pit or die or whatever, like as, and you're just like one of the Kongs, it should switch to the other player. Mm -hmm. I think it does. Yeah, but I swear, like when you beat a level in the later games, it does switch you. Or I don't know, maybe I'm just misremembering here. I really don't know. So, this is one of those games where they hadn't quite ironed out all the kinks yet. It was, you know, a brand new thing for Rare to pick this up and have Nintendo give them this IP. So. You know, one of the small potential nitpicks that people might have, but I I think this one is uh, it's definitely my favorite, so. I can't say it's my favorite. Like, I like two more. And I don't think that's an uncommon thing to say. Sure. Um, but I really do like this game a lot, mm -hmm. especially because it's just, I like how, like, linear it is. Uh -huh. Like, you don't need to know anything about it, and you can just, you can do everything in the game. Sure. Like getting 101% doesn't actually do anything. Right. And 101%, good, I guess. You're right. 101% is a pipe dream, and that's probably not something we're going to do just for the sake of uh, enjoyment. <laughs> no. Well, you're, well, we already missed two secrets in that level anyway. True. So. <laughs> Very cash. Yeah. I'm familiar with the first world. Like, I'm, I'm, I, I know where everything is, I think, in this first bit. But as, as the game goes on, I'm definitely less familiar. Yeah, I remember the big thing for me when I was a kid was I'd play up until I think the minecart stage was kind of the the one that gave me anxiety as a kid because I could, you know, had a little bit of trouble with that one when I was like, I don't know, seven or eight years old. And that's where I would kind of play up to that point. So I'm very familiar with that. And then I would just be like, nope. Well, that's not even that far. Yet, it's not. So. <laughs> so I got, you know, what's funny, actually. So we're playing this through the uh, SNES online app on the Switch. And honestly, as a kid, I didn't have problems with that. But with latency on online, I feel like that level is a nightmare. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> like, because there are some very, like, specific jumps in it. Mm -hmm. And I'm 
you know, hopefully it'll just be your turn and I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> we'll see. I'm not entirely sure if that's an even or an odd level, so we'll find out. Also, I guess it won't matter because... Uh, oh, let's see that one. It won't really matter because I'm sure we'll be taking hits and we'll be switching. I swear there's a secret here. I think there is, yeah. Oh, it just didn't activate the first time. That's the that's the LP curse. Yeah, I, I threw the barrel, hit the wall, it just didn't break. This game is testing our patience already. We're going to see if we have any sort of tech issues or if the game can just uh, play nice. Well, it's been fine so far, I think. Hopefully on your end, it's been fine. Yeah, it looks, it looks good that's so that's far. That's the only part that matters. So far, so good. I mean, visually and, you know, sound-wise, it sounds great. All right, well, sweet. That's the theme of this cool. uh, of this Let's Play is uh, how often can we complain about problems? <laughs> I was going to say, like, you know, that's the last time we have to mention that. We'll just not bring attention to any that's tech true. issues ever again. Anything in the future? I feel like that's a staple of every online project. True. I mean, I guess the, the true high quality producers of content are the people that can make you not notice it at all. So that's what it's all about. Ooh, but uh, to give a little secret. to give a little bit of a, a mechanic explanation, something that has been seen a couple of times on screen that hasn't been addressed is that as you play through this game, there are little tokens that are animal shaped. We've already seen. Uh, in one of the mini games, there was a swordfish, there was a frog, there's an ostrich as well. So there's a few different animal buddies in this game that are represented by these tokens. And collecting three of them will cause something cool to happen. So we'll see what that is when uh, when we get there. But this is our second animal buddy. The first one was Rambi the Rhino, and this is On Guard the Swordfish. What's your favorite animal buddy? Ooh, in this one? Um, well, okay, we'll say just in this one. Yeah, I don't want to spoilers for the second game, but there are different ones. Uh, that's a good question. I, in terms of like utility, I would say probably on guard just because some of these water levels can be really chaotic, especially um, in the later worlds of this game. But the other ones don't really. I mean, the, the the way that they play and the way that they handle are just kind of all over the place. So on guard is probably the best one in terms of making the game more enjoyable to play and then uh yeah, but who's your favorite <laughs> <laughs> okay so not who's the best who's the, who's my favorite yeah, who's your favorite uh i would say probably in terms of looks i like it espresso just because he's wearing shoes <laughs> and i think an ostrich wearing shoes is very silly um and uh, I actually did take a, a, a family vacation a long time ago, and we went to some ostrich farm. And I don't know if any people listening to this video have ever seen an ostrich in person, but they're pretty heckin' big. And they're also terrifying. We got to feed them. They gave us a dog bowl filled with, like, bird food, I guess. And these giant dinosaurs on stilts are coming at us over this fence and just pecking away. It's the loudest and scariest thing that I could imagine. <laughs> This absolute dinosaur in real life. It was crazy. All right, that wasn't too bad. I like Winky the Frog, by the way. Winky is a good choice. <laughs> he's very cute. You can't go wrong with a cute frog. Yeah, he's. I just like the animal buddies that got the hops. Yeah. Not to spoil the next game, but that's also kind of the same. Not to spoil the next game. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, this level has like a massive shortcut that I could have taken, but I don't know. I don't think that would have been very fun. Let's long play it if we can, just to, yeah. just to give the fans something to look forward to. You can slam into these Kremlings with this cannon. There you go. Everybody likes pretty a, gruesome. Everybody likes a good cannon. <laughs> That's one of the best parts of this game, which I know that there are later levels that people, uh, they're kind of divisive on, but... Um, Accurate cannon timing is definitely a mechanic that if you want to be a pro player that you got to get real good at. Now, why do you think they made these barrels like cannons? That's a good question. Like there's no precedent of that in the original Donkey Kong. That's true. I mean, in fairness, there's not really a precedent for anything that's in this game in the original one either. So I, I mean, I guess, but like. I know they had to work barrels in, but why did they decide, you know what, they should also just launch you, and that should be a, a, like a core game mechanic. Yeah, I mean, that's been something that's literally in all of the 
original SNES trio and then in the the returns and tropical freeze that's you know that that's a mechanic that they really enjoy so that's a good question i like i obviously it's used in two and three but you, you've played returns and tropical freeze right yep maybe okay I feel like they were like, hey, it's retro, we're back. And they like overkilled with like everything that like people like, oh yeah, I didn't like this. Like think of, think of the, like the minecart level. Mm -hmm. Like there's not many of those in this game. Right. I swear in that game, there's like a million. Yeah, I think like there's so many minecart levels and returns at least maybe in Tropical Freeze as well. But I, th I think this game has two. So there's the early one that kind of gets you adjusted, which I feel is a bit of overkill in terms of how difficult it is for that point of the game. And then the second one is there and i i honestly don't feel like the the minecart level present later in the game is harder which is very backwards yeah it i i think the one later is much easier did i get all the letters i don't know uh, i think the g was up there no i'm set i well, i know that <laughs> can i even get up here i think you have dk to, i think you might there you go <laughs> i know he can no, I, okay. I i didn't know if i had the rest oh I was yeah, like, yeah is this yeah. even worth it do I have all in the later games? That's that's like in the returns and tropical freeze. You have to collect the Kong letters, too. I guess we should save it. Yeah, that's always good. I've actually run into that problem a few times when uh, if you don't make save states or if you don't in game save when you play these games, the problem that I've run into is that I'll I'll close out and I won't pay attention to the fact that I didn't save and I'll have to go back and redo it. And that's a pain in the butt, especially if you've been recording for, you know, an hour or so and you just want to make a cool episode and then you're like, huh, none of this saved. <laughs> Yeah, oh my god, I, I hate I hate just having to go back and do something mm -hmm. that you already did. Yeah. I guess, it's very frustrating. I, I guess <laughs> the only benefit to it, though, is like when you're recording and you're playing, you're probably not going to be at your best just because you have to kind of split both sides of your brain. So when you go back and you do it by yourself, it's amazing how fast you can do it. Yeah, and especially because you already know what's go mm -hmm. going on, too, because you've, you've already done it. I, uh, like I recently was doing a stream... And I was playing through Super Mario World, and I got all the way to the end of the game, and the game crashed. Oh no! Um, and it didn't save the whole thing. That's horrible. Like, keep in mind, keep in mind, it was using like this was like a I don't know if you heard of crowd control. But yeah, it yeah, was yeah. Like, yeah. So I was using that. So like, you know, lots of things I was very unfamiliar with. But the fact that the whole thing didn't save, I was like, come on. That's like, a huge bummer. Yeah. So I think, but I I, I played through. I, I, did, I did like the short way of beating it. I did, but it was really frustrating. Have, yeah, I mean, you make all that progress and you feel good about yourself. It's a point of pride. And <laughs> I thought I jumped on. That. I swear, I thought I you jumped do love on the that. jumpy boys. <laughs> <laughs> Those are that was your words, so that's good. Oh man, well, there's the first death. There you go. That's okay. You know, you always get oh first death of the playthrough. <laughs> I'm gonna put like a like a big skull and crossbones counter on the screen. Yeah. I'm too old for that. No time. Yeah, you gotta make some bumper. You got a bunch of graphics appear on screen. Uh, that's not what this playthrough is about at all. That's not cash at all. <laughs> I think yeah, that's that sounds like too much work. I don't. Why I, didn't I just jump over that guy? I don't <laughs> like, know. That's a good question. Well, hey, I, there's no kill counter in this game. There you go. Now you can finish it up. All right. All right. That's a, that's a little pity sure. finish. Oh yay! Look, I get to play the rest of the level. There you go. Uh, Actually, I'm gonna have to play this next level because uh, no, there's a platform. I, I don't have it. You can you can uh you can swap out. Oh okay. I didn't know if you got a DK barrel right at the beginning. Yeah, you do. Not. The game the game has a little bit of pity. So there is a bonus that's right there. If you jump over that barrel right at the beginning, then it'll uh, put you in a a barrel that launches you almost all the way to the end of the level, which I feel is, you know, it's not a bonus. It's a warp. Sure. Feels like a bonus though if you don't like this level. <laughs> I think a lot of the early game levels of this game actually have warps like that that are like super hidden yeah like there's is... one that you need specifically dk for like in the next oh. world <laughs> oh, oh, there we go there there's that that don't i don't even i want to say that's user error just so that way i don't make excuses for myself but uh yeah that was not that did not feel right <laughs> user if, if if you say it's user error that means that is your fault <laughs> right no i am blaming myself i don't want to be oh, i don't want to okay. be that guy oh okay i'm not going to be the one who's like you know you're playing you're like 12 years old and you're playing call of duty with your friends you're like oh no no that wasn't me that was the internet 
I mean, I'm going to make that excuse. I mean, that's probably fair. <laughs> oh, there we go. There, there it is. We're doing great. I really wanted those 10 bananas. See, now I am getting... See, the idea of, of making graphics now is starting to warm up to me a little bit. Depending upon how, uh, do? how catastrophic this turns out to be, it might just uh, spice things up a little bit. I think uh, there's no way I'm going to be able to go for stuff like that. Online. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to try. I mean, I'll probably this is my second try at this. Um, I'll probably give it three, three tries. And then if it starts to get a little out of control, <laughs> <laughs> like I'm not even like on my go here. I'm not right. even. Yeah, it's I'm not, not even going it. for that. I'm not even bothering. I'm trying to stunt on the new Super Nintendo series and just embarrassing myself in the process. Yeah. Whew. Yeah. You want to do this series, but what you didn't emphasize is that we're bad. So. That's true. Well, I do emphasize that in every video that I make, just to let people know that it is, uh, when I, when they are humble brags, they are most certainly humble. Yeah, you know, and you, you got to make fun of yourself, right? Because sure. if you can't, then then other people will just make fun of you. That's right. If you beat them to the punch, then your self-esteem will remain intact. That's a life lesson exactly. for Exactly. That's how that works. I think so. Uh-oh. I really didn't think I was going to make it. Ooh, that was close. You did a good job. Solid work. Oh, that was clutch. My, my muscle memory is just kicking in right uh -huh. now. Like, where stuff is. This is this is decades of conditioning. Yeah. <laughs> like, you just get... Like, even if I hadn't played this, I would kind of know almost to... Oh, well, maybe not. That was close. All right, let's see if we can wrap it up here. Oh, come on. That's the most brutal jump in this level. That's ridiculous too, because I did hit the button to jump and it just didn't give it to me at all. Yeah. That uh, that jump sucks. That's the internet's fault on that one. <laughs> yeah, it must have been. Uh huh. I felt it. I felt it on my bones. I'm serious. Online, like for these levels, like in any of any of the series, it has a bunch of these kind of levels. Like, it's just rough like it's not good right and i mean going back to what you said about mechanics that rare decided to include uh -oh. in the og series like where were minecarts in the arcade games you know i don't remember donkey kong riding any mine oh, come on that guy is actually brutal <laughs> these are mistakes that like i normally would not make if i was just playing by myself but i guess it's the lp curse you sure it may just the co-op part it might be there's just so much anxiety of you know wanting to succeed for for each other, you know that's what it is. I'll tell myself that. Oh god, <laughs> it's beginning part sucks. I just love that this and like the whole goal of these episodes is to keep them to a, a relatively watchable time frame. But this is going to be like ten minutes of every episode of every level except for this one, and this is just going to be twenty minutes of just trial and error. <laughs> I hope. Not. Oh, okay, got it. I hope. I don't not. know why I had to make that sound like I jumped in real life, but. I mean, I guess it's just part of playing video games. It makes me think of like uh, when I was at an arcade as a kid, and there'd be games like Time Splitters or or Time Crisis, where there was the little pedal that you could press to get engaged in the game, and I would duck with it because I was a kid and stupid. <laughs> That's just what you do. All right, bravo. There we go. All right. Yo, I love Time Crisis. Yeah, it's a great series. I, I every time I went to the arcade and that was there, I was like, yeah, I'm playing that. Like I don't care if this costs five dollars for one playthrough. We're doing it absolutely worth it and I, I never got to the end of it because i think it was just in my mind like i i couldn't spend more than one play on a game uh -huh. like that was just like my mindset like no if i don't beat this on one token like that's 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 it i'm moving on to the next thing one try or i'm a complete scrub yeah which is dumb because arcade games are designed to take your money right and you'd have to play through it an insane amount of times to get to that kind of level right yeah, I mean, so. you'd have to be, you know, basically live there to get good at it. Yeah, or like own the arcade cabinet. It's like, yeah, what do... Which I uh, guess is a much more feasible thing in being an adult. You know, as like a kid, though, that would be like a my uncle lives at Nintendo type of thing where like you might have a parent that did legitimately own that and then you could just flex on all your friends. Yeah, I, hey, if I owned an arcade cabinet... If I had an arcade cabinet growing up, I would have played that all the time. And yeah, you better believe I would have been. Yeah, I got an arcade cabinet. <laughs> yeah, you want to come over to my place? Cause uh, yeah, I got pizza rolls and an arcade cabinet. So yeah, and time crisis. <laughs> <laughs> and like that's that's not even just like 
a very low key. It's like, oh, hey, what, what do you have at your place? Oh, yeah, I got uh, I got Galaga, maybe some Ms. Pac-Man. Yeah, I have Time Crisis. <laughs> I w if I had a friend who owned a Time Crisis, I would have been at his house every day. Right. Why not? I just remember when I was a kid, the big thing was like my childhood was like the, the 64 era, like late, late Super Nintendo, early 64. And I didn't have a 64 because I always would just get hand-me-downs from my siblings. And I remember when I found out that one of the kids up the road had a 64 and we played Bomberman 64 for like hours. Oh, that was great. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even notice that that happened. Like I saw that I was taking a hit and I was like, okay, I still have another chance to get back. I, I essentially was going to sacrifice Winky like Yoshi. And the game was like, nope, not today. Brutal. Sorry, you were you were saying though. I was reminiscing about yeah about how fun uh, you know my first trip into playing games on the sixty four was like you know I was used to playing Super Mario World and you know Donkey Kong Country Mega Man and then you finally get the chance to step into three D as a little kid and it just kind of your brain melts out your ears a little bit. It's an, it was a different world. It was a it was a life <laughs> life changing maybe but maybe. Uh, I felt that way when I first played N64. I was like, wow, sure. this is insane. This is so different. Yeah. I'm, I mean, there, um, you literally have no frame of reference. How did I just perfectly go <laughs> in between the beats? That was good. Entire... Honestly, <laughs> I think that might have been harder to do than just doing it the right way. Yeah. <laughs> See, what people don't oh, realize man. is that this series is about... Uh, we're showing what not to do. That's how good we are. And you get to this level of just high quality gameplay that you can just fool around and uh, make it look like an accident. Look, let's be real. <laughs> this isn't the first Donkey Kong Country video on the internet. You could find a speed run of this game. But what's the, what's the point of that when you can watch this high quality co-op content? <laughs> At the uh, end of the day, you get to experience all bits of the game, like, you know, what the extra lives are for. I know I know that art is subjective and I don't want to try to tell people what they should and shouldn't identify as high quality masterpieces. But, you know, this is in the making to. Uh, this is Smithsonian level quality play like this. This Let's Play will be put in like the National Archives for film and the National Registry. It's going to be great. Something really like that for video games. Not to say there's oh. not video game stuff like in museums and stuff, but there's not really anything dedicated. Right. I mean, there might be uh, sections of. Wow, this is not. <laughs> this is not easy for me for some reason. There's like little sections of, like the physical machines. Like they might have like a Game Boy or an Atari if they're doing like a walkthrough of history. But there's nothing that's like. It's just like, we have these things and they existed at one time. That's cool. But there's no real well-rounded approach. I mean, maybe there is a video game museum. I, I'm sure that's a thing, but. There are people that, I, I know like stuff like that does like, I think like privately exists, but I don't think there's anything that's like public. To my knowledge, anything that's like publicly kind of run like that, where it's like, are all maybe all museums are private though i don't know I, i'm not very familiar with museums i guess maybe that's how they all operate but nothing famous that i can think of this series is going to catch a lot of flack for our uh misunderstanding of museums <laughs> people are going to be very upset maybe we'll wind up having a a large following of museum curators enjoying this series and being very miffed that we're not appreciating their craft Hey, you know, leave in the comments, you know, if we're wrong. <laughs> I actually Let do us know in the comments if we're wrong. I actually do encourage people to correct me because a lot of the time I actually don't know what most things are referred to. And so I'm like, hey, better you than me. And I didn't even know that secret was there. So I'm learning something new today as I'm yeah, sitting here. That's watching. that's one that I never knew growing up, but as I've been kind of experience this game from playing co-op with other people sorry <laughs> are you co-oping behind my back <laughs> yeah <laughs> you're not my first <laughs> <laughs> anyway uh i've just kind of learned that yeah there's there's obscure secrets like that like that one's garbage like 
Yeah, that's they shouldn't put they shouldn't put something that you need like you have to go back for. And I don't like that. And the bananas, they don't even feel like it's really an arrow pointing mm -hmm. to to it at all. It just feels like three bananas. Like it doesn't really feel like much of anything. They're trying to throw you a bone and make it seem like it's better than it is. I'm on to you, rare. Six. All it's right. Being a sixty-four, by the way. Is this you want to end here? I think well, let's we'll do one more. And then we'll right. uh, we'll wrap this one up. Ooh, this is one of my not favorite levels. We can save the boss <laughs> battle for the next time. No, let's let's all let's right. do it all. Let's do it all here. All right. We're already almost at the end of this world, so. I didn't know what your your take was. We didn't really have this planned in advance, other than we were playing this game. We're doing it by the seat of the pants. All right. I don't remember. Is the Kong letter on the far left? I want to say it's the right, but also I want to say if you go in the middle, you should land back in it. True. Let's find out. Ooh, good choice. Nope. Yeah, well, maybe not. We are not getting that one. That was a 33% chance. I think there's a way to time it where you can land back in, and I thought it was the middle, but... There's a lot of ways to do things right, and there's also a lot of ways to do things wrong, and that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. Yeah, well, this isn't DK Return, so you don't actually need the Kong letters. Oh, that's true. You don't unlock some difficult temple level. We already have that right here. That's right. <laughs> Here's a difficult temple level right here. Well, I mean, speak for yourself. We're unlocking pride and prestige here. Yeah. Oh, boy. I think I might have goofed on this one. Let's see if I can sneak. Yeah. I mean, you can do this, but... Oh. <laughs> It'd be nice. No. <laughs> it didn't let me do that. It'd be nice if... Yeah, it... Oh, well. See? It's uh, it's brutal. This might... Well, we'll see how we'll see how many takes this. We'll, go, we'll do a couple more of this one, and if we don't... Wind up nailing it soon. Hey. Oh, another chance. You, you can get the K now. Watch it. It like moves. <laughs> it was on the right. Little did you know that this is actually uh, RNG dependent. Just to mess with you. Great. No. I swear you can fire in the middle and, and get, get back in the barrel. I'm sure you can. I think it's more just about pulling Diddy or Donkey back in. And I think part of the issue is like, there's a little bit of the latency that makes me over or under correct. And then by the time I get back there, it's like, nope, you did too much. Right. You got to move that needle just right. We're going to just skip that. I guess we're not getting that. We are not oh. getting that. That's wishful thinking. That's for that's for MLG pros. <laughs> we'll be lucky if we just finish the level. That's that's kind of the the bar has been. I mean. Sorry. Go the ahead. bar has been set a little lower than. Uh, but maybe solo play. I'm just going to say, it's not like we've gotten everything anyway, so it's not like a huge deal. <laughs> but, uh, You're like, hey, you missed all that stuff. It's like, oh, we know. Yeah, we're aware. Thanks. That's that's half of the fun. It's going back and looking at all the things you missed on purpose. Oh, I think I... Yeah. I think I think you've made this more difficult. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Is there enough iframes? Oh, nice. <laughs> there, there we go. That was close. <laughs> that was intentional. Yeah. That was a. Uh, that was intentional hit right there. Yeah. That was RNG manipulation. You take the hit for, for the gains. You know what? There you go. Sometimes you just gotta sacrifice yourself for your friends. That's not an intrusive thought, is it? Okay. Oh, <laughs> just kidding. Oh, I'll see you later, Winky. Bye, Winky. Here's an example. Oh, wait, of come that. back. Uh, almost. Well. There's no. There's still a chance. I, I'm like, I don't even know what the. I'm wondering. Look at him go. <laughs> I'm curious what the RNG is going to prioritize here. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, hey, that worked out pretty well. Oh, okay. We'll take it. Can I get out of here? There we go. That's. We take those. Ooh. Okay. I think you probably could have gotten back. I hate these guys so much. I'm not a fan. They can get a life. Hey. Ooh. Okay. No, we just did. That's right. Let's get ourselves out of there. We're almost done. I can feel it. Ooh. That's... I really thought that was the end of the level. Me too. Oh, no. Thought I hit the tire. That's a jerk move by those designers to put that wheel right there. That's rude. Well, I got to the end of the level, so... You did it. All right, kill that boss for us, and uh, let's wrap this bad boy up. All right. You want me to do this too? Yeah. yeah sure. I did the first one. So this is Neki. Oh. He is... Well, I'm a, I don't know what type of bird he is. A vulture? Yeah, I think. I think he's just kind of like a floating head. Maybe a uh, a flamingo having a bad day. Oh, 
Uh, I don't know. Well, Flam yeah, sure. We'll say Flamingo. Why not? He is very dead, though. Or maybe he's unconscious. There's no death in Nintendo games. All right. So that was pretty good. Um, that is the first two worlds, yeah, of, uh, of Donkey Kong Country. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Um, we're going to come back at you. It'll be... Worlds, I don't know how many are there. How many in this game? Six, seven? I don't know. There's six. Okay. There's si well. There's six. We'll see how. I, I wouldn't really call the seventh as a world. True. It is but. a level. So we're gonna be uh, trying to do as much as we can in these episodes. There's no telling how much we will accomplish because things do get a little bit harder as we go further. And uh, clearly, we've shown that we're excellent at this game. So we'll be able to do everything in one try. Oh yeah, for sure. All right, everybody. This has been Super Nintendo Sundays. I've been D Mike with. Uh, Odin's back. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.